Hey guys, I have a question. Have you heard about Qingdao beer? Um, this one? It's actually a pretty famous beer, not only in China, but in the whole world. Look at these two, Han and his girlfriend drinking beer somewhere in Asia. Okay, since I'm in Qingdao, which is home city of this beer, I want to take you today to one must visit place in Qingdao city. Thank you. So it's like 50 and the yeah. All right, I am in this part of mission accomplished. Apparently here are two different buildings, A and B, and the woman who just uh, gave me the ticket, she told me to go first to A, which is right there, and then B, which is working factory because I see steam goes up from there. All right, let's go to A first. You see this? This is how many people actually visited this place since it's opened. 10 million 489. Oh my gosh. Too, too much numbers. And this place is really popular. And I suppose this room is designed to tell us a little bit of history of this place. Qingdao was occupied by German army for 17 years. And in 1903, this first German branch of Qingdao beer was established. You just take a look at this dark window in the wall with this woman. Oh, I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable and scared when I hear this kind of music. Okay, bye scary woman. I'm gonna have nightmares about you tonight. Alright, let's go find out what else we can find here. Advertisement of Qingdao beer in China. Look at these cool posters. Oh, this one in Singapore. Look at these letters from dealers in Singapore requesting to import Qingdao beer. Okay, as far as I understood, the first whole building is designed to explain a little bit of history of this place. When it was built, hard times, good times of this beer factory. Oh, this room is more interesting. They got different cans. All right, look, here's lots of information like this on the walls, like this and like this behind me. So what I want to do, I want to take photos and videos of this information and I will leave it in the end of this video. All right, what is next? Where I supposed to go? Entrance of part B. There. It was a very good idea to come here on Friday. It's like 1.30 p.m. right now and it's not busy at all. Almost empty this museum, which is really, really cool. I think B is this one. Hello. Hello. Ticket. Ticket. Thank you. Whoa, look at these huge beer tanks. One. Two. Oh uh, yeah. By the way, it's old brew house. Wow. Huh? Hello. What are you doing here, man? All right. I got it. You're checking temperature. See this guy? He doesn't really want to talk with me. And uh, it would be great to find out what is going on in this section. Oh, here we go. I found it. Brewing is a full process of from malt to wort. Okay, this is the, the whole process you can read here. You see, it's like a second floor, and I guess these tanks they go all the way down. And I saw them just from downstairs. Just imagine how huge is this tank. What's inside? I'm curious. I don't know how it's called, but I think it's something what's beer made of, right? Honestly, I'm surprised how many kids I saw today. I mean, it's not Disneyland, right? <laughs> it's not hot chocolate museum. It's a beer museum. All right, the next room is brewing lab. Okay, another creepy fella. What are you doing here? All right, so in this room they explain how exactly they brew Qingdao beer, all the steps on the wall behind me. Okay, what's next? Oh, we are outside again. Look at this cool kind of waterfall or whatever is this. It looks cool. It smells like beer here. I think we're one more step closer to the actually working brewery. Look at these old cool tools. What is this? East washing and uh, recovery equipment in the early time. And this is East propagation system. Okay, traditional fermentation area. Wow, these guys look so cool. <laughs> okay, I don't know what just happened, but I could feel some splashes on my face. I think it comes from these sprayers. Uh, yeah, right there. Ah. I think I have to go faster and they're gonna close by the way very soon. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Okay. 
All right. See okay, you. Bye bye. See you later. Right. So um, if you want to feel like Casey Neistat, everyone want to take a picture with you, just go to China. Everyone will want to take a photo with you because you are not Chinese. I don't know why Chinese like to do this, but they do like. All right, so what is happening behind me? This is a place where every customer can get a free glass of raw beer. And I think I'm also going to try one glass. What is this room? Whoa, so white. I think this is something about advertisement in different cities like Sydney, Germany. Uh, looks so beautiful, Switzerland, Moscow. You know what's funny? All these billboards behind me with different cities. The weather always so sunny and blue sky and only Moscow. Look at Moscow. I think it's storming right now. Why Moscow is so gray always? Even on pictures. All right, finally I found a place where they actually brew beer in this museum. But looks like right now it's not working. They fixing something. This is like the last part of this uh, museum. But still I found something interesting right behind me. This is drunken house, and I hear like people laughing there. Probably something cool. So what is? Oh. <laughs> They even made this wall soft because people just fall in here. Uh, and I think this light, it makes you feel that you are drunk even more. Here the slope and the light. Alright, and here we are again in this gift shop. That's all for today. They almost kicked me out because they, they closed like five minutes ago. So I have to go back home. I'm super hungry. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a like. Bye.